What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hunter and today I'm going to show you exactly how to trade Crash 300. You can use this on any of the crashes or any of the booms, but today we're going to look at Crash 300 and we're just going to learn and I'm going to teach you how to trade it very successfully because a lot of people on YouTube just show like these little scalp and you, you drop a big lot and then you just scalp and close and oh, it's so successful and it's so... 99% of the time no we are realistic here we're going to do this properly like the ICT methods the smart money methods you know the institutional methods we're going to use this on these pairs okay so we're going to look at a buy and a sell example today uh, just those two so that we can get it nice and concrete in our mind and then take it from there with any of the other pairs the thing about crash and boom is that there's always one pair that's very active and good to trade at that moment and then it goes into like a consolidation then you can't trade it anymore then you need to move on to the next one until the other one is ready again so you can't just focus on one crash or one boom or whatever you need to actually know and implement this on all of them okay because there's always one that has an entry and the rest won't have an entry that's how i've experienced it okay so let's go through the the things to remember so it works on any time frame but i prefer the four hour time frame so we're going to wait for a break of a high or a low like i usually do we're going to have to keep structure in mind like the way it moves so if it keeps on breaking highs it's obviously in a bullish movement if it keeps on breaking lows it's in a bearish movement so that keeps us keeps it in mind for what type of um what type of TP we're looking at then we also we're always looking at the 50 to 61 level for the fib for the entry and then we can go down to the lower time frames for entries not always but sometimes so yeah let's let's look at it guys let's look at the opportunities that is given to us over here okay so for the buy example Technically, we always prefer to sell crash and we always prefer to buy boom because of the spikes. But I mean, we can also sell. Uh, we can also buy crash um, if we want to. But let's look at it. So, yeah, you can see crash will be moving down. So we're in a bearish movement. But once it breaks this high, we obviously broke that lower low cycle and we went into a buy movement. Okay. So now we're into the buys here. So then what we do is we take the fib from the lowest point to the highest point okay lowest to the highest okay so what we will do then is we will then mark out the 50 and the 61 area like that with a little block so we're going from the lowest to the highest point when it breaks past that high again inwards we're gonna mark out this movement from the low to the high then after we've marked the 50 and the 61 we will delete this yeah now you will see there's an order block a nice little order block for you to enter your trade on so in that 50 61 area we look for order blocks on time frame so if it isn't on the four hour we will go to the one if it's not on the one hour we'll go to the 50 so that's what we're going to do but in this case we will have it on the four hour already but you can most probably go down to a lower time frame to find an even smaller order block. Okay, let's go down here. So, yeah, I mean, you can technically, it's still roughly that thing over there. So, I mean, you can then take your, your buy, put it on top of that order block over there. Stop loss always a few pips below that low over there and then your tp can be anything that you want usually the fib lines are a good tp so let's quickly go back to the four hours so that i can show you the four four hour fib lines so let's quickly just do this so your tps can be like 50 38.2 23.6 and your zero line so those can be your tps moving up but like i said as you see we are in a bullish movement so you can technically take it up towards some of these next highs for a tp which is also perfect so if you swing it like that all good 
Guys, if you use other ways to enter Boom and Crash that's not like this, you can always use this as a confirmation tool, confirmation strategy, whatever you want to. Maybe even just for TPs if you want to. But this is already such a nice entry tool. But I don't know. Let's say your strategy saw an entry over there. Over there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Then you like, oh yeah, let's look at Andre's way of doing this. And yeah, there was a nice buy there. Let's take it upwards. Let's take it because it is an extra confirmation with the buy that you saw. Okay, so now let's look at a sell because this is crash. So let's look at the sell. Now, we will have this sort of consolidation movement over here. We've got an immediate downwards shove, like a break downwards, solid break downwards. We're like, okay, yeah, this, this break downwards, it means we are in a bearish movement again. We take our line. There's a low, low, low that was broken. So like one, two, three, nice confirmation of a low or a support that was broken and then yeah we're just going to wait for this to turn around again and go like up through this line so then we can immediately take our fib again from the top to the bottom this case so it's reversed from this one now it's from the top to the bottom and then we will wait again for this 60 to 50 area plus minus then we can delete that. Remember, these are your TPs. That can be a TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4. Beautifully hit. Um, but yeah, just remember that always. Um, now let's look at. You can see, okay, there's there's like a there's a block here, but I need to find on a lower time frame. I need to find an entry right in this area over here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the one hour. Okay. So around this 50 zone, there was an order block there, okay, which had a very, very good sell. But as, as um, crash came back up, we can then see for an extra confirmation, listen, okay, it reacted to the 50. I was in the sell. I probably TP1 and TP2, but it's coming up again. And if you have a little bit of basic ICT knowledge, you will then know there's an order, uh, a fair value gap over there indicating that it has to fill that fair value gap with some volume but just above it there is a little order block hiding there waiting for us just above that 61 zone that it got tapped into for that sell okay but Andre, i'm not sure that that was like like i'm not sure about just taking that sell straight okay no i understand let's go down to a smaller time frame from sort of for some extra confirmation so you're like okay cool there's an order block but let's just I need that extra confirmation for that cell. So let's go down to, I need to go down to the five minutes because five or the one minute is always perfect. Now I'll be like, oh, okay. It's going lower, 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 low, lower high, lower, low, lower high. It's like breaking to a downward trend and wants to go to a bearish trend. Now we will see like, okay, it broke this low. Okay, so it's indicating a cell. But what's just above that low? Just above that low, we will see this fair value gap over there. And technically, this order block over there as well for that cell, which is perfect. So now you have your extra confirmation for the cell. Look at the great risk management you can put in place if you, let's say, took the cell over there. Okay. Okay. And your TP is all the way down to, like I said, that FIB. It's like a 10 plus risk to reward ratio. So if you want to go down to the smaller time frames and just use that exact method again to take the sell, you can do it. So if you're scared about the higher time frames and maybe your risk and your stop loss, go down to this lower time frames to confirm the sell. That big four hour order block, fair value gap, FIB is for you to see where it's going to turn. And then you can go down to these low time frames. And most of the time, you can find a great entry like this. So, guys, always remember to use proper risk management. Like, don't use your whole account, use the amount that you're willing to risk. I hope you had a great session with me here and that you've learned something. 
and I will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. It just means a lot and it helps the channel to grow and it helps me to make more content for you guys. So yeah, cool. Check in the next one.